Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. Today, I will introduce a well-reputation Chinese movie, Let the Bullet Fly, which is directed by Jiang Wan, a famous Chinese director, tells a story about rights, greeds, and justice. Zhang Matsi, a farmer and bandit, has a series of political struggles, money and power transactions, and armed conflicts with Huang Sailang, a rich businessman in Gu City. At the same time, many viewers think that the film has some black humor. Do you got it? But there are also some senior film fans who think that there is some irony in this movie. Where should we start? Some people think that the film is about the contradiction and struggle between the peasant class and the bourgeoisie. Because Huang Sailang and Zhang Matsi respectively represent the typical examples of the capitalist and peasant class with power and money in the context at that time. Some people think that this is satirizing today's Chinese social system. In the movie, a dialogue between Zhang Matsi and his younger brother is very meaningful. This is called Moser in the West and Mozart in ours. The letter T in China means characteristic. Some people interpret that this is satirizing that today's China has fallen into the trap of revisionism. Instead of adhering to primitive socialism, it has become the so-called socialism with characteristics. Is there revisionism in it? In addition, there is another clip in the film that Zhang Matsi said, there are five pistols on the ground, don't you take them? And his younger brother replied that he had forgotten. Someone analyzed that the five guns referred to Mao Zedong's selection of one to five. Does this imply that the Chinese authorities forgot their original intention and chose to move towards revisionism like the Soviet Union? You should know that director Jiang Wan is a director with a political stand on the left. I think the analysis of this line on the internet is very accurate. The biggest advantage of this movie is that there are a hundred hamlets in the eyes of a hundred readers. You can read strong political colors and political positions from the movie. You can also read humor and witty from the movie. You can also read director Jiang Wen's attitude towards life from it. Generally speaking, let the bullet fly. But also presents a wonderful story full of action, humor, and wisdom to the audience. This film has not only achieved success in China, but also won the love of the audience internationally and has become a classic on the milestone of Chinese films. <laughs>